Yeah, man. I I had a conversation with a a first time first year voter. Um, this was their first um, eligible year, so <clears throat> I just I, you know I, I wanted to know what their experience was like, and so we had a had a little little conversation about it. And for somebody, and I'm pretty sure it, it was it was also alarming and and concerning. I guess I should say not alarming but concerning because he. Um, <clears throat> When he got to the polls, he felt like, you know, a lot of manipulation coming from both parties or both popular parties um, that were present at the polls. You know, people in, in support of Republican and people in support of Democrat. He felt pressured um, in trying to figure out, you know, which way do I go and do I vote this way? Do I vote that way? I'm sure he went in with some thoughts, um, but they... They seemed to make it a little bit more confusing, um, you know, especially when it was his first time. He didn't really know what to expect. Um, outside of that, he also was carrying some other lows to the polls with him, just like he mentioned a couple of movements that he was kind of following and watching watching along this whole journey leading up to uh, Election Day. And um, also was a little ir- irritated with, you know, him being – having his own thoughts, you know, not not wanting to go all the way down the ballot one way. And, you know, just for that to be his first experience, all the leading up to it, you know, we get all this mail, we get everybody kind of throwing their views at us. And if, if you're with this team, you should do this. And if you're with that team, you should do that. And a lot of that can weigh on a first-time voter. We know a first-time voter and their first eligibility, they're not, they're not old, they're young. Um, and a lot of them sometimes have the thought process of like, is it worth me voting? You know, right. is is it really going to change something? But when we put pressure on them, the the concerning part that I took away from the conversation is, man, is is he going to go back? Does he, does he feel comfortable going back? Does he feel like his voice is going to be heard? You know, how is he going to carry out, you know, his life going forward after this experience? Is he going to be in, as engaged? Um, as he was prior to all the, all the things, did he lose a little bit of love for it? Did he gain it? Is he more interested? You know, all those things kind of pop up. But when we talk about unifying, and we've talked about this outside of voting, very broad, we've we've delved in a, a couple of topics that speak to um, being together and unifying for 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 different causes. And this kind of is like a dividing factor, like because you're forcing or not forcing, but you're trying to push people certain ways. So now, as I would, me personally, I'm going to take a couple steps back because I don't like the confusion. I don't like the, you trying to tell me I need to be like this. So I'm going to remove myself from that group. But that breaks away the uniform, that breaks away from us unifying. And so, I don't know, man. Yeah. I can see how that could be uh, difficult for a first-time voter, man. Cause just thinking about my my first time voting experience, who who did y'all first uh, presidential wise? Who who did y'all get to go vote for the first time? You ain't gotta say who you voted for, but like, mm, who was that? Uh... I know mine was um, Bush Kerry in four in '04. That was a, that was the first time I was uh, eligible to vote in the, any 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 election. Pretty sure I would be the same then. Okay. Because I was... Yes. Yeah, it would be the same one, actually. It would be the same one. Um, That experience of how it was, like, coming in to do the voting, bro, it could be intimidating. You know what I mean? Because everybody loud and proud, one way or another. Sounds and all. Yeah. Yeah. And I just, man, I could... I can only imagine this time because like I've mentioned in the previous podcast, it won't so much blood and crips as it is right now. (laughs) You could could, still have a conversation with a person who, who saw it the other way, but now it's like, Mm. yeah, it's a, a, yeah. And I'll be honest, I guess, and I don't know, I don't know know, how how y'all, where y'all voting precinct was at that time, but, um, I guess it was kind of a little easier for me 
to really appreciate voting because uh, my voting site was actually my old elementary school. So yeah. it was it was good kind of going back and, <laughs> and actually seeing some of my old teachers. You know what I mean? Like, oh, my God, I can't believe, like, you're 18 now. You can actually vote. I'm like, oh, my God, man. Like, mm-hmm. you, you kind of realize, like, oh, man, like, I've like it's a culmination of, like, all my, my, my school age years now coming up to this point. And then, you know, all the things that I learned, you know, from family and just kind of, like, life experiences. So, you know, at that time, you're just kind of excited to vote. You might not necessarily know who you're voting for in that regard, but you know you can kind of understand the points and bases of what they're running off of and saying, okay, this is, you know, this is what I, I like. This is what I don't like. Um, but you know, now in this day and time, these kids, you know, that are 18, they got so much information right at their footsteps and right in their fingertips, you know, that they just, they're, they're almost more well-equipped than we were even at 18 or they should be anyway. Yeah. With, you know, with all the information that, that they have at their disposal and, in the amount of information that's being shared, not only just amongst their friends, you know, out and about, but just socially, you know, on social media. So, but it's interesting because that's also kind of skewed too. You know, sometimes your social media feed and algorithms can kind of have you leaning towards one way, depending on what you like and what you don't like. So, you know, and um, we kind of get to this thing where, you know, recently there's been this huge movement or, rumblings underneath at least the surface of you know how how can we avoid these algorithms and how can we avoid having each individual person have their own skewed reality yeah Be- because, because of what they see you know on their social media feed or, or what information they're being you know filtered through on even just their web browser like when you're on a computer you're doing stuff at home and like you see certain ads popping up or you see certain things you know trying to grab your attention or certain alerts that that's going through so it, it's it's a lot these days with these kids, man, and and having societal pressures of that magnitude for your first time voting is like that's. I I I, I pray that he, you know, that the individual that you spoke with, I pray that they 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 continue to do that, and I know they will because you know they got you in their corner, Ty, and you know they understand the importance of it. But yeah, man, that's 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 wild.